I'm like, <laughs> do they get paid at least six, six figures? You need six. I had to. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't do less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once I see that, I had to do it. Here's yeah. what you have, though, that a lot of book smart people don't have street smarts. You are clearly book smart and you say, are incredibly street otherwise. smart. It, people would say, I don't have street But smart. that's exactly what we're saying is that's what makes you so, so street smart. And I think some of the reason you get hate, I've been thinking about this, is because you created a market that didn't exist. You found a void in a market that wasn't even there. Hip hop TMZ, essentially. I, I, it wasn't I figured a thing. out what it was. <laughs> I know you're going to say some bullshit. And it's, it's going to sound foul, but you got to just feel me on it. The cultural impact within hip hop. It is the closest I could think of is Perez Hilton. Do you remember what Perez no. Hilton did yep. to the game when Perez nah, came around? Know, and I'm not saying that in like any belittling way because some yeah. gay dude is in Hollywood. Uh -huh. What he did, he blogged. I don't know if, if he identifies as he or whatever the fuck he I don't even know. But <laughs> oh, he blogged. <laughs> but, no, 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 I have no fucking clue. He blogged. He All of a sudden, his Instagram and blog blew up. And then all of a sudden, he's ending up on TMZ. He's ending up on Hollywood Reporter. And he was a personality. Yeah. So it wasn't just this is the information. It's this is the information from this personality that we really like. That yeah. didn't exist in hip-hop. Mm -hmm. Adrian Wojnarowski or whatever, for yeah. if you want to be whatever okay. about it. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, yeah. he is for the NBA. If he there's some shit up too. <laughs> like the way how, like he's yep. almost, he could be his own site. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he gets paid by, I believe he's with ESPN now, he probably gets yeah. paid as if he can exactly. be on site. And he's just a guy that just had the inside track on all this stuff. Around 2014, I looked up and I, like, you know, I always wanted to be, I, I just wanted my banner in, in, in the rafters mm. in, in terms of affecting For what? Up, right? Really just affect, I wanted, at that point, being a personality, looked up Charlamagne a lot. And then I was thinking, I'm like, listen, I, I, the Breakfast Clubs are at the Breakfast Club. How do I get to that level platform? I want to be on radio in a premier market and what i realized times were changing mm. if if you're someone right now that want to get on radio nigga you are lost yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. and and it, it started changing for me because i saw beats one pop i'm like maybe it won't be like terrestrial radio maybe it'll be like you know some you know digital radio and then it turned to wait why are you caring about radio this and third Build your own platform. Yeah, the people. So you know what I did? Yeah. I built my own shit, and I'm me on my own shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get yeah. me. So it it was a it was me also realizing the time and the times and adjusting it. But honestly, I looked up to you know Star Charlemagne, yeah. Wendy, all of those. People. I looked at them as okay. like the super jocks. So mm -hmm. let's